Hey there, as the weather gets colder and the holidays are now in the rear view mirror, are you worried about winter weight gain? Is one of your New Year's resolutions to lose the weight you might have gained during the holidays without gaining more in the winter months? Well, if you said yes to any of these questions, look no further because in this video, you will learn my top five winter weight gain tips to manage weight for good. Hi, I'm Vula Manusos, registered dietitian and licensed nutritionist, and I help women manage their weight with a holistic non-diet approach. Today, I'll be sharing my top five winter weight gain tips and dispel the myth that weight gain is inevitable during the winter months. Now, is it normal to gain weight during the winter months? Most of us believe that just like bears hibernate in the winter and trees lose their leaves, we are bound to gain weight. This can lead to feelings of stress and depression. Well, it doesn't have to be that way. Although it is true that during the cold winter months, we may crave foods that are higher in sugar and fat. This doesn't automatically lead to weight gain. The key is to understand your body's signals and then develop a plan that is right for you and then stay consistent with it. In this manner, you will not only be in a position to successfully avoid weight gain, but you might just be able to lose some weight as well. Now, before we dive into those top five tips, let's take a quick look at why we might be prone to that weight gain in the winter. One reason might be the cold weather. Although our bodies do use up a lot of energy in order to keep warm in the winter, they actually use more energy to keep our bodies cooler in the summer. Now, can this help with weight loss? Maybe, but the energy loss is probably not significant. Now, a more significant reason and our number one reason for gaining weight may be holiday meals and snacks between the months of October and January. The holidays bring an abundance of calorie-rich meals and snacks, which can be a significant contributor to annual weight gain and thus should not be ignored. Now, another reason that might be affecting weight gain is our sleep patterns. That might be different to shorter days and longer nights might disrupt our sleep patterns, which might affect our metabolism and our appetite. Keeping to a regular sleep schedule is important when trying to maintain balance in our bodies. Now, seasonal affective disorder, which is a disorder where less sunlight significantly impacts mood and energy levels, which can lead to richer, more higher calorie food consumption, can also be a reason for winter weight gain. Although most people don't experience this disorder. So for most folks, this may not be the reason why they are seeing the winter weight gain creeping up, although it may be a contributing factor for some. Now, if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the subscribe button below. This channel is jam-packed with valuable content that is tailored for you. And again, I don't want you to miss any of it. Now that we know what can cause winter weight gain, let's roll up our sleeves and take a look at what we can do to proactively avoid it. So now let's look at our first tip or strategy, which is adding more whole foods to your diet and streamlining meals with strategic meal planning. Focusing on more whole foods and less processed foods automatically allows for a more moderate caloric intake because you are not consuming the extra fat, sugar, and salt that typically goes with these foods. Now, using these whole foods to meal plan and prep is a powerful tool to help manage your weight because you are in charge of what and how much you eat. Although there might be outliers, once you have committed to the meals you have prepared, it allows you to steer clear from higher calorie, nutrient-poor foods. The meal prep and planning of meals and snacks also helps level out blood sugars, which can significantly reduce the temptation for that 3 p.m. chocolate bar from that vending machine when you're hangry at work. Now, the second tip or strategy to avoid that winter weight gain is to cultivate calm to help counter stress. This is important because when we are stressed, our bodies release a hormone 
hormone called cortisol, which can affect our metabolism and our appetite. Elevated cortisol levels can lead to cravings for sugar and fat, which can lead to storing fat more readily, and particularly around the abdomen. Additionally, stress can adversely affect sleep and exercise routines, which can also lead to weight gain. Now, effective ways to help manage stress can be through meditation, deep breathing exercises, or engaging in activities that relax you. This not only helps with weight management, but also contributes to overall well-being. Now, the third tip or strategy that can help you is staying active with enjoyable movement. Regular movement is essential during the winter months. Finding enjoyable ways to stay active outdoors as well as indoors can make a huge difference. If you can't get outdoors for some fun winter activities like skiing or skating, please consider these indoor activities. One might be joining an online virtual dance class for fun and fitness. Another might be taking up yoga or Pilates at a yoga studio or even at home with online tutorials or apps. Now, how about participating in an online fitness challenge or maybe trying to climb the stairs in your home for extra cardio and a leg workout? Or you might consider taking a dance or martial arts class to stay active or maybe even learn a new skill at your local community center. Now, how about indoor rock climbing to challenge your mind and get that workout in a fun setting. Now, these are only just a few activities you might want to consider in the winter months. Now, remember, the key is to do what feels comfortable and fun and an activity that will raise your heart rate so that you're getting in that good workout. Consistency is key, so start small and build in order to add longevity to those workout routines. Now, please press that like button if you feel that these tips are realistic and manageable and something you can start off doing today. Now, moving on to our fourth tip and strategy, which is sharpening your focus for enhanced mindful eating. What this means is being highly aware of your decisions around food choices and how and why you eat. To help sharpen your focus, you might consider journaling for awareness. Keeping a food journal can not only help you track what and how much you eat, but can also help track your emotions and when you might be most vulnerable to eating or overeating. Over time, this awareness can lead to better decision making around types of food selected and food portions. Now, another tool you might consider using is meditation for mental clarity. Regular meditation is a powerful tool that can clear your mind, reduce stress levels, and improve your ability to focus on your health goals. This mental clarity can make you more mindful during meals, allowing you to slow down, savor each bite, and sense satiety so that you are not open to overeating. Now, a third tool to help enhance mindfulness is setting clear, achievable goals. Having well-defined, realistic, achievable goals helps keep you laser-focused on what you might want to be working on. For example, you might want to work on eating more home-cooked meals or adding an extra serving of vegetable to your lunch or dinner meal. Whatever that goal may be, you want to make sure that it is achievable and realistic. Now my last and most important tip or strategy is fostering a supportive network. This is most important because without accountability or support, it is very easy to get derailed with your weight and wellness goals. Now, the advantages of having a support system are, one, being more motivated to work towards that goal. If you have people supporting you, you are provided with a motivational boost, especially on days when you might be feeling low or unwilling to work on those goals. Another advantage of a support system is the accountability provided from maybe a walking buddy or someone who is aware of your objectives and truly wants to keep you on track. Now, how about the emotional support you can receive from someone 
who can share your struggles and successes and that can provide that emotional comfort and resilience to keep you on track and moving forward. Remember, the path to wellness is often more successful and enjoyable when shared. Now, while winter waking can happen, it doesn't have to. Let's dish the stress of dieting and scales. Try to embrace the winter season with a growth mindset. Learn to set goals and stick to them with a good plan in place, which includes meal prep and meal planning. Focus on whole foods that are wholesome and delicious. Remember to move more, but make sure the activity you choose is enjoyable so that it can be something you can sustain and not just a New Year's resolution that can be ditched later. Make mindful decisions around your eating and your health and stick to them by including positive and supportive people that truly want you to succeed. In this way, you are peacefully managing your weight without the stress or struggle. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you good insight on how to manage your weight this winter. So thank you for watching 5 Winter Weight Gain Tips. And if you want a more detailed overview on how to keep winter weight gain at bed, please drop down to the description below to access my blog, 7 Strategies to Avoid Winter Weight Gain. Now, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.